Hey guys, it's Chris from Cartridge Blast Gamers, and this is Space Engineers. Today I'm trying to work on a new project, kind of working out the idea of doing a cluster bomb or a multi-missile uh, attack to a enemy base. And uh, I recorded a lot of this kind of like in B-roll format, but I wanted to um, bring you along on my struggle. So uh, here it is. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, <laughs> it's been a, it's it took me hours. It took me hours. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Take a look. Let me know how it goes, and uh, give me some feedback in the comments. All right. Now it seems that the uh, thrust is not quite enough to get the rocket off. That seems to be the problem. I'm gonna discover this one way or another, but all right, here we go. We're gonna try to launch. Hopefully this works. Fingers are crossed. Ah. Uh, oh, they're staying up a little bit longer, but they are not. They don't have enough oomph. Hmm. So, <laughs> things have changed. I've been uh, redesigning and working this, and I tested this one, this design, uh, with, that, with the exception of putting the timer block on there. That one was for the arming the, um, the warheads. I never armed the warheads when I first sent it over to the base over yonder, that signal over there. But uh, I decided that I wanted to put a first strike launch vector up in the sky because this thing flew in like a cruise missile and I think it only got like, you know, 50 meters above the ground or even less, I don't even know, it kind of scared me with all the trees and stuff. Miraculously, it didn't hit any of the trees, it kind of flew in low and fast, which is good in a lot of practical ways, but I want this thing to come down on top, like straight on down onto the target and uh, basically nukeify it from uh, from orbit, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna test it for the first time, uh, bringing you guys in because if it all explodes, well, it's funny, and we'll keep it in this in the footage. <laughs> Although I'm gonna probably stop and rethink my life. So here we go. Oh damn! There it goes. Oh wait, are they crashing into each other? They... they are. They are. I have no idea if any of them survived. Some of them survived? I'm... a little sad <laughs> that they all decided to smack into each other. Okay, guys. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm smarter than before, but definitely got some progress done. Um, I had to basically rebuild it over there and get it to match up perfectly here. And I'm hoping that it will be fine. I just want to make sure that everything is tuned up and programmed correctly. So... What we need to do is check it out. We gotta check out a couple of things. First, we wanna make sure our remotes have translated the data from being copied over. Yes, yes, this is good. Okay, it's a one way forward, perfect. Okay. Yeah, I did it one time and then put it in the blueprint and then just transferred the blueprints over to the projectors and that seems to be that seems to be the best way to go, uh, the quickest, I don't know, uh, what else am I looking for, I'm looking for the main launch, so the main launch actions are going to require, yes, yeah, I figured, because these are no longer a thing, these are no longer a thing, so basically, and remotes, yep, that's gonna be gone too. 
to it. Did I group remotes? Nope. I need to group remotes, and I need. I'm gonna group the timer blocks to arm the slam jambo. Slam jambo. So, slam jambo. Here we go. Arm the slam jambo. Okay, guys. Uh, we need to. Yeah, I think we're ready to launch. So, uh, I'm gonna just quote Samuel L. Jackson from Jurassic Park and say, hold on to your butts. This is gonna be ridiculous. Here we go. Oh, 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 come on. No, why? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what is happening? They're trying to avoid each other, but they can't get to the first strike. I. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. They're flying. I may have put that first strike vector way too high. Yeah, because now they're all trying to get there and they can't. And now I have a bunch of nukes just flying around my base without any. <sighs> okay, now I'm back, and this time, probably not, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know anymore, this has been a pain, I, like, I had to reset this thing so many times, I was gonna say that this is gonna be a quick launch situation, I guess if you set this up right, you can do consecutive launches and, and be okay. Um, the most expensive thing about these missiles is the battery, I think, I feel like. All the other stuff doesn't seem to be too expensive. Maybe the warheads? I don't know. But I think it's time to test it again while well, I got daylight oh man this is gonna be crazy okay let's save it let's save it Ugh, guys it's been hours this is just taking me hours here we go here we go yes oh 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 there they go there they go find it well that's dead okay here we go here we go Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, we're gonna go into this move here. So they'll be coming from over here-ish to hit the target right there. So let's just wait a minute. Um, this took a while. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. I see some stuff flying. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that, here they come. I launched six, that's two. Ah. Well, oh, here comes some more. Not really in sync, are they? Think. Is this number six that finally got their shit together? <laughs> and completely missed the target. <laughs> hours of work for nothing. Oh man. Okay. Okay, we're back. And um, what I did was put the timer blocks in place. And it's basically really simple. The main start's gonna kick off the timer block and timer block one is going to have a one second delay. 
and it's going to release this merge block and then it's going to trigger this one with a one second delay and release this one and so on and so forth so it should look staggered I think that might prevent us from having issues my only concern is that they're going to come in in a straight line and just get destroyed right away and not be all that much staggered but you know what I think I think we're gonna give it a test. We're gonna do the the usual. Saving it up. Oh gosh. Alright, here we go. So Yep, that triggers that. That triggers that. That triggers that. Oh yeah. I don't know what the hell's happening here. These two guys, man, they just can't seem to get out of each other's way. Uh, what? Oh, here we go. Why? Why? Okay. I think I'm faster than they are. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Let's see if any connect. <laughs> Explosions! Now here they come, okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, the sadness. I think there's one more somewhere. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, man. What do I have to do to get you to die? Hit the button. Get him started up again. Trigger the launch. I want to see what's going on here. So that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. And that works so much better this time. Sort of. They kind of like figure out where the hell they need to go. Oh, you missed! What are you doing? Oh, there's a direct hit. Well, that was pretty cool, though. It kind of made them waste missiles. There's another one. Okay. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh, that was great! And just like that, we have ourselves access to the base. You know, a couple of interior, uh, what you call it, defenses. But that is awesome we took out their refinery there but that would give us access to that nuclear reactor which is early game that would be amazing and um, yeah we just need to approach the base from one angle now so now that we don't have anything stopping our missiles from attacking this thing let's just see what kind of damage we can do I'll be honest, I'm really excited about it because it's, uh, it's, it's a system I've been trying to work on for a little while. Here we go. That's a miss. That's a miss. Obviously, they are uh, not all that accurate. But they will try to find their target. There's one. That's a good hit. I do find it ridiculous that it's... There's a... Oh, another miss! What are we doing, guys? Come on! 
Stupid AI, let's go. <laughs> and now it's this one. Why? So it's inconsistent errors happening there, so it could be anything. It could be just the game. I don't know. I don't know. If you know, leave it in the comments, let me know, so, because I'll, I'll be pondering this, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and go, why? I don't know if anybody else does that. Alright, let's see here. Slam Jambo. Inbound. Miss. Direct hit. Miss. Oh. Direct hit. Oh, look at that! Now it's got no defenses. And you notice too, the drones didn't spawn. It's because a player isn't close enough. It's another direct hit. If the player isn't close enough to a base, they, uh, the drones that usually spawn on it will not spawn. Yep, I think that's it guys. That's gonna conclude this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a short one. I did a lot of work on the backside, did a lot of building, a lot of a lot of that stuff. If you like that format, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and um, let us know how we're doing. If you want to see how I built it, I can um, I could do another video where I show you a tutorial on how to build this thing. It was a pain in the backside. Um, but I think that more or less it was me doing a lot of learning and stuff like that So I think a final design once I work out the kinks will, will look really good and I can actually do a tutorial on that But this is a kind of a concept that I wanted to put together uh, Based on a GPS guided system that will essentially destroy enemy bases significantly and leave very, very deadly flying drones around <laughs> randomly in your base and other people's bases. It's scary. I don't know why they're doing the circle thing. That's just really weird, but um, maybe we can address that in another episode. But until then, guys, be safe, stay uh, healthy, and I will catch you in the next one.